King Charles will deliver the first King's speech in seven decades today as UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak lays out what laws he wants to introduce in Britain ahead of the next general election. The state opening of Parliament will see the monarch read out a list of pieces of legislation from 11.30 a.m. on Tuesday, November 7 that the government is planning to introduce. Many of these changes could have a huge impact on ordinary people such as the new rules on smoking which will see the sales of cigarettes being gradually banned. Even though it is referred to as the King's Speech, Charles is not responsible for making the list himself and simply reads out what has been written for him on behalf of the government. It will be the first time he has delivered the speech since becoming monarch with the last King's Speech dating back to 1951 during the reign of King George VI, the Mirror reports. However, Charles did give the Queen's speech on behalf of his late mother Queen Elizabeth II in May 2022. The new session of Parliament is likely to be the last before the next general election which must take place by January 2025. Labour has accused Mr Sunak of leading a zombie government as several of the plans have been promised before. Here we take a closer look at what topics of conversation will be included this morning. What will be in the King's speech? Smoking ban The age in which you are allowed to purchase cigarettes will rise by one year every year meaning those born after January 2009, so anyone who is 14 or younger at the moment, will never be allowed to buy them. The legal age in England is currently 18 and the change was one of the big announcements made by Rishi Sunak at the Conservative Party conference last month. Sentencing judges will receive extra powers to force criminals to attend their sentencing hearings after ministers have been pressured to take action after a number of high-profile killers refuse to leave their cells. This includes Thomas Cashman who shot dead nine-year-old Olivia Pratt Corbell, and convicted child murderer nurse Lucy Letby. Families of victims say they have previously been denied the right to see justice done. Offenders who commit murders with sexual or sadistic motives also will spend the rest of their lives in prison, under government proposals. Leasehold reform All new build homes in England and Wales will have to be sold as freehold properties to tackle the scandal of rip-off charges. Flats will not be covered by the long-promised leasehold ban which campaigners argue will not go far enough. However, existing leaseholders are expected to receive more power to manage their building and service charges. Football regulator and independent body will be set up to govern the top five leagues of English football which will see rules being introduced regarding who can become the owners and directors of clubs. This will include powers to stop teams joining breakaway leagues. Stolen mobiles clamp down the police will be able to search properties for stolen goods such as mobile phones without presenting a warrant. Officers won't need to receive permission from a court to raid a property if they have solid proof that stolen goods are inside because they are being tracked with apps such as Find My iPhone. Town hall salaries Local authorities will have to hold a vote of all councillors if they want to pay in officials more than £100,000. There are believed to be 2,759 local council workers in England and Wales on six-figure salaries. Oil and gas licensing ministers will be required to run a North Sea oil and gas licensing round each year. The government is bringing in this measure as they claim it is necessary to enhance the UK's energy security and will help protect more than 200,000 jobs in the industry. However, it will not help lower bills for customers and it seems like it's being introduced for political reasons after Labour said it will stop handing out new exploration licenses. 
driving rules local councils will find it more difficult to implement 20 miles per hour speed limits or clear air schemes such as the ultra low emission zone mules in greater london Rishi Sunak has U-turned on a series of green policies after the Tories unexpectedly won the Uxbridge and South Ryslip by-election in July thanks to anger over Ewells, but his poll ratings have not improved. International trade legislation will be brought in so the UK can formally join a trade pact with several countries in Asia and the Pacific, after it signed an agreement to do so earlier this year. Members of the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership CPTPP, are Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore, and Vietnam. Reheated announcements Several of the laws that will feature in the King's speech are being carried over from the last parliamentary session as the government did not have time to pass the law. Boycotts Public bodies such as local councils will be stopped from having politically motivated boycotts of foreign countries. This is being introduced in an attempt to buckle down on the boycott, divestment and sanctions BDS, movement, which calls for economic and cultural boycotts of Israel and Israeli settlements in the occupied Palestinian territories. Holocaust Memorial legal changes are needed so that a Holocaust Memorial and Learning Center can be built in Victoria Tower Gardens, which is situated right next to the Houses of Parliament. Restrictions on the use of the land have so far stopped it getting permission. Renters' rights say long-awaited ban on tenants being evicted from their properties if they have done nothing wrong will be re-announced. The Conservatives' first pledge to end Section 21 no-fault evictions in 2019 and included it as a pledge in their election manifesto. But it has been repeatedly delayed as it has faced opposition from Tory MPs, many of whom are landlords. To sign up to the Daily Record Politics newsletter, click here.